Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I wanted to talk about what Nintendo's plan is. For those who don't know, Nintendo doesn't really have a lot of big releases coming up. It's quite bare. And that's not to say the games that are coming up are bad. There are actually a lot of cool games like Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I am really excited for that. And Luigi's Mansion HD 2 and Peach Showtime was just released. But you gotta wonder, what's after that? Sure, we do have a lot of third party games. Bio Mutant is coming to the Nintendo Switch and so is Grounded from Microsoft. We also have Endless Ocean Luminous, which is coming out in two months as well. I mean, technically it's gonna be one month since April is almost here, but you guys get what I mean. But overall, what is Nintendo's plan when it comes to the Nintendo Switch 2, when it comes to new Nintendo Switch reveals, when it comes to June, that E3 time, or what used to be E3 time? I still find it very depressing to say that. So first up, to understand that, we gotta understand what Nintendo is releasing. So April, a lot of people are saying is a pretty dry month, but if you look at the release dates of a lot of games and the games that are releasing in April, it's actually pretty stacked. In terms of the amount of games that are releasing on the Nintendo Switch, we have 100 Heroes, we have Another Crab's Treasure, which I am 100% buying. I'm actually really excited for that game. It looks amazing. We have the Demon Slayer game, we have Tales of Kenzera, we have Saverless, and just overall a lot of games. We even have Grounded from Microsoft, but really after that, we don't really know what's coming. Metroid Prime 4 doesn't have a release date, it doesn't have any information out, so we don't really know what's going on with that. Nintendo hasn't said anything on that. So why is this? Well, if we look at past Nintendo Directs and how Nintendo usually shares information, it's usually a wave of information. Nintendo likes to maintain this wave. I like to call it the Nintendo Momentum. Nintendo likes to give us different types of news throughout the year that keeps us busy. This is why most of the time we can correctly guess when the next Nintendo Direct is going to be because Nintendo does it at the same time of the year because it maintains that excitement around the Nintendo Switch brand. Which would make sense because that's how you maintain an install base. You make sure they have a lot of things to look forward to. And usually we do get that June Nintendo Direct. So what's going to be leading up to the June Nintendo Direct? Well, we do have Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door that's going to be releasing on the 23rd. That's in March. And then the following month, we do have Luigi's Mansion 2 HD as well. And not only that, but the Monster Hunter Stories 3DS port as well. You got to keep that in mind too, as well as third party games. Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble comes to mind. That's currently set for release on the 25th. So why am I telling you all this? Well, this means that Nintendo is giving us games to play, which keeps up that momentum. So while it may look barren on the outside, I think in Nintendo's eyes, they think, okay, we're keeping the install base busy with these games until the June Nintendo Direct. So if that's the case, in their eyes that we're being kept with all of these different games, more than likely, there is going to be a June Nintendo Direct. I know there are rumors that there's going to be an April Nintendo Direct, but I don't think there's going to be an April Nintendo Direct per Personally. And the reason behind that is because there are already games releasing in April. Typically what happens is that Nintendo likes to have Nintendo Directs for games that are upcoming, not games that are directly in that month. Usually anyways, there are some exceptions. Like one exception was the Metroid Prime Remastered. I mean, that dropped right during that Nintendo Direct. But typically these Nintendo Directs are to set up future dates, not the dates that the month is in. So once that date happens during June, that is a cutoff where we have nothing, or I don't want to say nothing. I mean, Fantasy Life, The Girl Who Still time, a game that I am actually interested in, I honestly can't wait to try that out, is releasing months later, like in five or seven months, no, it's seven months, actually six months, but you guys get what I mean. It's the end of the month, so it's six months. So I think Nintendo's plan is to wait out the rest of the months until that June Nintendo Direct, and that's when they're going to fill it with more games. Games that will come after June. Now the question you really have to ask is, are they going to talk about the Nintendo Switch 2? Are we going to see anything from that? Well, to try to put a really good educated guess, we got to kind of put ourselves in Nintendo's shoes. We know that the Nintendo Switch is slowing down. We know that Nintendo Switch software is still selling very, very well. And we know that Nintendo does want to sell more Nintendo Switch consoles. As far as I can tell, they want to sell as much as they can before they get the Nintendo Switch 2 out. And with the rumors that Nintendo delayed the Nintendo Switch 2 to 2025, my question is, why would they even reveal it before 2025 or before Christmas? I mean, think about it. 2025 could either be in January or it could be next March a whole year away. I feel like Nintendo would reveal the Nintendo Switch 2 closer to the release date of the Nintendo Switch 2 and that wouldn't be in 2024 or at least right now in 2024. That would be closer to 2025 which means that would be past June and if I was Nintendo and I did delay it till 2025 I wouldn't even mention the Nintendo Switch 2 until after Christmas because the holiday season is where a lot of people pick up these games consoles and so on. If you're gonna announce a new system during that time or 
or even before, that's going to mess up those sales of that season. So I have a feeling that we're not going to get a reveal for the Nintendo Switch 2 before Christmas. I think what Nintendo is going to do is they're going to wait until maybe even the February Nintendo Direct to announce the Nintendo Switch 2. So what are they going to do for June is the big question. Well, I think they're going to still set up the release dates for new Nintendo Switch games. I think we can definitely expect that because they have nothing revealed towards that time. And after that, we don't have really too much in June. So I feel like Nintendo's going to be revealing a lot of Nintendo Switch games that we'll know more about at the September Nintendo Direct that they usually do. But I don't think there's going to be any Nintendo Switch 2 stuff. What I do think is going to happen is they're going to do a new Nintendo Switch OLED to push more consoles. I think that's what they're going to do so they can raise those numbers and try to beat the Nintendo DS in numbers. So I think that's what Nintendo's plan is. Now the question is, where does Metroid Prime fit in all of this? Because I think a lot of people are wondering that too. Where the heck is this game? Is it delayed? Is it even still in development? Did Nintendo can it? I don't think they did that, but I think what they are going to do is they're going to release that on the Nintendo Switch 2 and the original Nintendo Switch, just like Breath of the Wild. And if that is the case, when are they going to show it off? If you guys remember, Nintendo said that they want to do more Nintendo Switch OLEDs. So I would not be shocked if some kind of insider got some information that we're going to be getting a Metroid Prime 4 Nintendo Switch OLED. I have a feeling that they're going to be releasing that on the Nintendo Switch. If I were Nintendo, I would try to get the Nintendo Switch version out first and then have the Nintendo Switch 2 version later. All while making a Nintendo Switch OLED Metroid Prime version. And then as part of the marketing for the Nintendo Switch 2, you could say, hey, this game runs better on the Nintendo Switch 2. Here are some of the extra features that we put in and the extra work we put in into this version. Stuff that we couldn't do on the original Nintendo Switch. That way you can still have a pretty big game and you can pull a lot of sales for the Nintendo Switch consoles and keep those sales on the consoles going. So I think that's what Nintendo's going to do. I could be completely wrong about that, of course. All of this is speculation. I mean, I don't have any inside knowledge. Now, as to what Nintendo's going to do as far as releases on the Nintendo Switch 2 until the Nintendo Switch 2 comes, that's where I think things get pretty interesting because we have been seeing that Nintendo is willing to do a lot of remasters, remakes, and ports. And some of these reports, or not reports, some of these ports have some extensive work on them. I mean, the Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door is basically basically a remake. It looks fantastic. And we also have Luigi's Mansion HD which looks really good and then we have Monster Hunter Story 1. So I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of this going forward until the Nintendo Switch 2. In that June Nintendo Direct, I wouldn't be surprised if the Zelda games appear. This seems like the perfect time for Nintendo to release those. We already have some information from Nintendo insiders that have been saying for a long time that these things do exist and they are ready to put out. So if that's the case, then more than likely they're just saving them for when they need them. And honestly, if you want to do more sales as far as software goes, those would be really great to use. It's either that or it's just the fan inside of me wanting these on the Switch. One of the two. But, uh, you know, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess aside, using the older games and porting them and making them look better as well as remakes too, like Kid Icarus Uprising, that was rumored a while back, that would be a great game to bring to the Nintendo Switch, is a good way to keep you install base busy if you don't have any bigger games. I hope they do though, other than Metroid Prime 4, but I guess we'll see. But what do you guys think about all of this? What do you think Nintendo's plan is leading up to the Nintendo Switch 2 reveal? What games do you think are going to be revealed until 2025? Like from now until 2025, what games do you think we'll get in between? Maybe you think the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be revealed at the June Nintendo Direct. I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll see. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And make sure you guys leave a like. It really helps the video out when you do. And of course, subscribe for my next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.